Hi there beautiful souls, welcome or welcome back to Kutch Tarot. We are going to be doing a general reading. We're using the Rider Waite Tarot deck and we're going to see what the message is from Spirit here for you today. I do hope you're all doing well and having a good day or evening whenever you come across this reading. We've got the beautiful Temperance card to open up this reading for you. We have the Ace of Pentacles. The High Priestess, and we also have the Chariot's Energy. Okay, three major arcanas here. Okay, something I'm noticing straight away. I do feel okay. There are a lot of personal changes going on for you guys at this time. This could be a very pivotal moment for you. Um, a very intense time for some of you as well here. I do see the balance is being restored here, and you are being guided. Okay, to trust in your intuition, to follow your um your feelings rather than your thoughts is something that's coming through. I see there's going to be a brand new offer being brought into you, a new beginning here, okay? Now, it could certainly be related to your finances, but I do feel it's something, okay, that is going to bring a lot of stability into your life. For some of you here as well, okay, you could be moving. There could be travel involved here. I feel there is a transition for most of you, though, here. You're going sort of from one stage of your life into a new chapter is what I'm getting here. And this new chapter is going to be... A very grounded, a very stable and a very abundant cycle is what I'm being told as well here. Let's have a look further. We have the Three of Pentacles here. Again, this could definitely be related to your work life, your career here. There could be progression, okay? Something maybe you don't quite see coming. Maybe you can feel it coming, okay? But there are no obvious signs of this. We also have the Six of Swords here. Again, I want to say there is this movement forward, this transition that you guys are going through. I feel travel is indicated strongly for some of you here as well. There is definitely a calmer, more abundant um space that you're moving into here i feel you could have had a space where you've been, been through a lot of lessons a lot of life lessons in a short space of time um, a lot of ripples in the water so to speak and now the karma seas are um, approaching you i also get okay for some of you you're going through a spiritual upgrade here or a spiritual ascension here you are learning to have more faith in the higher powers in your own empowerment and your own intuition is something else that's coming through here We've got the Four of Pentacles, and wow, we've got the Ten of Pentacles. I feel for a lot of you, this transition involves going from time of challenges, of difficulties, perhaps even poverty, I'm struggling to get my words out, sorry, into a far more abundant space. Now, this is also speaking about long-term success, long-term abundance that's on the horizon here for you guys. Your family life could be very important and highlighted as well at this time for you. We do have the hanged man at the bottom of the deck here. This has been a long time coming for you guys. And I feel this is something, okay, that you've you've done a lot of inner work. You've changed the way you see things. Your own perspective has changed. And this is allowing for this new opportunity, this new cycle that is, like I say, going to be very prosperous, very abundant and very stable for you beautiful people. Let's get a little more. Wow, wow, wow. We've got the Ten of Cups here as well now. Now, the Ten of Cups, it's all about that emotional fulfilment. So this isn't just something that's going to be practical and logical and um, financial for you. This is also something that's going to bring you so much happiness, so much joy. I also feel for a lot of you, OK, you're coming to... The top of a mountain is what I'm getting. You're gaining that higher perspective. You're reaching new heights, reaching new achievements, reaching new goals, perhaps. OK, and it's like this new level of emotional fulfillment that is also being checked off at the same time. Again, I want to say about family life, OK, being very um, emotionally happy. here, spending time, perhaps, with your loved ones is going to be very important, very significant. For some of you, you're actually going to be travelling towards your family. There's another message here. We have the Nine of Wands here. And we've also got the Magician's card at the bottom of the deck. We have the King of Cups. Now, with these two cards, okay, particularly coming out together, strong message here, okay, about not giving up. You've been through some difficult, challenging times, okay, um, but it has brought you to this place of empowerment, this recognition within yourself that you have got all the tools that you need. You can make what you want to make happen. Very empowered energy with a magician here. It is also speaking about your manifestations finally being brought into fruition for you. King of Cups here. This is again speaking about that emotional fulfillment. And this isn't a temporary fix is what I'm getting. This is very grounded. This is very long term. This is like um, 
like if this is something that you've been waiting on for a very long time you've put a lot of time a lot of effort perhaps a lot of repeated cycles to get you to this stage and finally you're going to be in this space of complete emotional abundance is what i'm hearing here i do want to get some lenormand cards for you now let's get some lenormand let's find out a little bit more about this for you a huge shift coming in for you though guys you really are transitioning from one cycle into the other cycle and this new cycle for you okay it's nothing like this nine of wands energy where you've kind of been um i'm hearing fighting a losing battle there's a brand new empowered energy and a brand new abundance cycle on the horizon here for you we've got the ship so definitely feeling okay about travel movement for some of you here perhaps after a long pause. I'm also getting about incoming communication as well. Okay, you could be receiving, I'm hearing that song message in a bottle. So you could be receiving a message in the near future as well. Okay, that is going to, um, I'm hearing set, um, put the wind beneath your wings, so to speak. Um, obviously with the sails here, okay, that's how the ship is moving forward. We've also got the sun here, okay, happiest card in the deck. Again, ace of pentacles. Now that's interesting, two aces of pentacles. This has been something you've been waiting on for a long time, okay? And it's finally being brought to you. It is something, okay, it's like a seed that's been planted that's going to need the warmth and the nourishment, okay, like the sun provides. I also feel a lot more emotional fulfillment, a lot more happiness, a lot more joy coming into your life. The number three or the number 31 could be significant for you guys as well. Let us get a lover's oracle just to close out this reading. And I'm actually dropping cards everywhere. So just one second. Let's try that again. Oops, we've got lots of jumpers here. We have here, you may not always understand why certain things happen. There's always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. And that's absolutely beautiful because I kind of feel that sums up this reading overall. That's what I have for you today, beautiful people. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Let me know how this resonates in the comments below. Have yourself a great day and I'll catch you again soon. Bye.